Seriously, you know, it's a bit of a cliche, but the first time I rode a bicycle without stabilizers is one of the most vivid memories in my life, and I remember it very well. And it's been like a love affair since, really. I find them amazing objects, and, um, you know, if designed correctly, they're incredibly effective and efficient. It was a, it was a new craze. It was the, the colors, the fashion, the speed. And for the first time in history, people were doing things on bikes that had never been done before. And it was a really interesting and inspiring time. I found out it was going to be too expensive to import a bicycle from America. So I made one. I was building bikes in my parents' garden from about kind of 15, when I was about 15, something like that. If I talk a little bit about my schooling, um, I, um, my mother realised that I wasn't quite normal, if that is a normal, um, at a fairly young age, um, and I was diagnosed with dyslexia. Um, so subsequently, I probably didn't get on academically as well as perhaps I should have. You know, it was okay to be creative at secondary school if you were drawing flowers in a plant pot, you know what I mean? I wasn't really into that, to be honest. You know, I can't remember as well when I was skateboarding, I was probably me and my brother and a handful of friends. You were an outsider, you were not really the norm, and, and that was definitely seen by teachers as well, and I, I don't know, being brought up with BMX and being brought up with skateboarding has been um, an incredible kind of knowledge and a base of kind of what interests me and um, it was just an interesting time so I would say you know it was really important in that respect and school is obviously important but I left school and went went to college so yeah. or past and present clients include um, Adidas, Nike, um, Levi's, uh, Lee, um, Manfrotto, um, Dhaka Research. In my studio I um, take my puppy to work every day and um, she's the only full-time member of staff with me. It's a very small studio and there's a small office and a workshop but it's um, kind of almost got it to a stage where I'm really happy with how it works and use it as a design laboratory, I suppose. I'm, I'm really enthusiastic about um, a recent project that I've been working on, and uh, it's my first production bicycle. If you skate now, you get all the girls, you're cool. You know what I mean? It's completely different. You paid millions of pounds to ride your skateboard. It, worked, it used to be like that, do you know what I mean? And it's that sort of thing where you just did it because you like doing it, and it's the same with this product, I think if you take this attitude of like we're going to put this thing out, we're going to decide what colour it is and we're going to decide who we sell it to and the distribution network and the channels that it's going to be sold. If I want to put, you know, bikini clad girls on the advertising campaign then that's what I'm going to do. If I want to put guys and G-strings on it, you know, I mean with cases of beer and an elephant on it, then that's what I'm going to do. It's up to me. I'm not having some twat in a suit tell me that, you know, well, statistics say that we're only going to sell it to this part of the population. Because all my life I've not really done things by the rules and, you know, it hasn't been too bad, so...